Hi everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I would like to share with you part two of the Dollar Tree Shop With Me and Haul video that I started sharing with you last week. As I said in the last video, which I will link above, I went to the Dollar Tree for the first time in a really long time. I would like to share with you the rest of the Shop With Me footage that I was able to get when I went to the Dollar Tree and then after that we will come back and I will share a haul with you of everything that I found. So first, let's go shopping at Dollar Tree. Alright, so the first items that I would like to share with you are Christmas items. I don't think I'm only going to be using these for Christmas projects and for different Christmas DIYs. Some of these are going to be used in other areas um, of my home and also areas of my classroom. Sorry, Finley just got up and he's stretching and shaking now. Alright, so the first things I would like to share with you are for Sean. So I picked up Sean three pairs of Christmas socks. I like to be able to give him different socks so that he can um, sort of look a little festive. I mean, not really that anybody's going to see his socks, but it's just a thing I think a fun thing to do here's the first pair they are stockings and then little Christmas bulbs and I think there are some snowflakes and maybe a couple wreaths as well yeah there's a wreath right back here and then I got him this pair with the black backing and then some snowflakes that I think he'll really like and then finally I think this one's really cute it's just a bunch of little Santas with little presents so those are the first Christmas things that I found then I also picked up some of these. I'm only going to take out one bag because they're going to get glitter all over the place. I picked up some of these like glittery pine cones, which are fun. I think that um, I have some fun DIYs planned with them. And I did a bunch of DIYs with these last year. And I really liked working with them, except for the fact that glitter gets all over everything. The final Christmas thing that I got that I don't think I'll use in a Christmassy way per se are these LED lights and they're battery operated but they're these little stars and I thought it could be really cute to put up in my classroom to almost make like a frame or take a frame and then put the stars around it like these light up stars around it to have like maybe a student of the week or to have like like star work or something like that I thought this could be really really fun or even like a focus word if we were to like be focusing on a certain theme or a certain um like vowel like sound or something like that pretty much whatever the focus is of the week I thought it could be fun to make like a big focus board with these so I picked up four packs of them and then the rest of the items that I got are for my classroom so I'm almost to the end of the haul already I didn't really get a ton um so the next thing I would like to share with you is this little pocket chart I'm really excited about this it looks like it has maybe four or five compartments I'm really excited about this because it's a smaller sized pocket chart and many of you know that I'm a traveling teacher so I teach part of my day in my classroom and then the rest of my day is spent 
in the students' classrooms, working with them on what they're working on in their class. And I have a cart that I carry with me. And sometimes I would like to be able to have like a pocket chart, something to display important vocabulary or words that we're working on or words or themes that they're learning in their classroom. And it's, it's hard sometimes because there are things that I always reach for and I can't carry them with me just because of I can only, I can't carry my whole classroom with me in my cart. Sometimes it's nice to have little things like this that I can just hang off the side of my cart. It has these two little metal rings that you can hook things to with it. Um, and so I was thinking about even taking some binder rings and just attaching it to my cart so that I could use it um, while I'm teaching. I just like having things that travel easily um, because I'm a traveling teacher, so I picked that up. I picked up three packs of these power clips, which I think are meant to be used for like papers on your refrigerator or things like that. But I like to do individual word rings and um, individual letter rings with my kids so that they each have their own like little ring that has the letters they're working on, the sounds they're working on, vocabulary they're working on. Um, and I've been looking for something to use to clip them to something magnetic. I think that this will be easy for the kids to use because they can just push it back and then put their word ring right in. I picked up three packs of these. I also really like how they're rainbow colored so they're really vibrant and bright and I think it'll look really nice in my classroom. And then finally the thing that I got I'm so excited about are these classroom word swatters. So they're like these wands and they're like fly swatters and then you can like put words down on the ground and they like play games with it. You can use these in so many different ways and I had never seen these at Dollar Tree before. I'm really excited. I'm excited that they have a little hole right here so that you can hang them in the classroom. I picked up six and I originally wanted to pick up nine just because my biggest group right now has, I wanna say five or six kids in it and I always get nervous like if I get another student, you know, not everybody will have one. And I picked them up in three different colors. I picked it up in red, blue, and green. I sort of thought about just picking them up in the blue because blue is my favorite color. But at the same time, I like it being bright and colorful. And that's it for part two of this Dollar Tree Shop With Me and Haul video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I found at Dollar Tree. In the comments below, let me know some of the things that you've been finding or some things that you have your eyes out for and things that you would really love to find. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at Thrifted Living Page. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!